Hey guys, welcome. Today is all about swimming. And this is how I swim. Um, long sleeve is because I like to be protected and I'd rather wear something like this but that has long sleeves than um, reapply and reapply. And actually, it doesn't really do that good reapplying. So I'm gonna show you something. For example, take my hand. Do you see that discoloration from here and here down? That's all because of these. So when I swim, of course, it gets wet and it gets a little loose. So it kind of drags a bit like this. Well, I kind of pull it too, so to be honest. So even though I apply sunscreen and my hands, waterproof sunscreen, um, it's still not enough. So I apply it and then reapply it every two to three hours and um, you can tell the difference. So that's to show you how much actually clothing does compared to sunscreen. Sunscreen only helps so much and then um, it only it only does that much. So then uh, we're left with reapplying, which it can be cakey, it can be cumbersome. If you can't get out to do it, or if you've got, if you're at the beach and you got sand all over, you got to rinse and then let it dry and all that. So um, it's just so much easier to do these, honestly. And I mean, nowadays there's so many cute things out there that um, you don't have to worry about, you know, them not looking cute or anything. So anyways, that's my choice. Um, you do you, uh, but I can guarantee you that you're definitely gonna be more protected by layer of um, clothing than by sunscreen. So with that being said, this is what I'm wearing. Um, I actually got it last year. This is what I go out with, but I'll just go like this right now. Uh, <laughs> I got it last year, it's hold up actually really good. It started to kind of, um, gather up some little fuzzies and such but um yeah it's really really nice i really like it it's zip up so i it's just i'll show you doo, 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 doo. so it's a, a zip up and uh easy to take off easy to put on and it's definitely um sorry and it's definitely um uh something that's convenient to me but anyways um Let's talk about the sunscreen. So as far as sunscreen for your face, um, you should use a water resistant. Um, they, they don't really put it waterproof anymore because they're just not, it's not waterproof. So they don't label it that way, but it is water resistant. Um, so um, there's a bunch of options out there. Uh, there's this one, uh, there's this one with different types of, um, and then there's this one different types of like um, times. So this one says, the flex says, uh, water sweat resistant four minutes. Um, this one is, doesn't say how much. And then this one, I think it's 40 as well. Yeah, 40 minutes. So take your pick, choose whatever you like. I really don't like this one for that because it's kind of heavy. So I don't wear that one um, on its own. This one is really awesome. And then also this one is good. There's all kinds of other ones out there. Now, um, also this one, even though it does not uh, say that it is waterproof resistant, water resistant or sweat resistant, this actually does really good in humidity and heat and all that. I've actually worn it while swimming and it held up really nice because it's so, so much um, matte and so, um, it adheres to the skin really well. And it also um, doesn't let your oils poke through. So it kind of holds onto your skin really nice. So I've worn this one as well. So I have no problem wearing this, but uh, just for the sake of it, actually lately I've been using this one uh, because it has like nine months um, expiration date. So I try not to let them, you know, pass by. Um, so I'll just, um, I'll just do this for today, but you do whatever one you like and, um, just take it from there. Now this one is tinted and it's very, very liquidy. So shake it out real well. Um, now it is tinted, but it really doesn't leave too much of a tint. Uh, it's mainly for like, um, see how liquidy that is? Mainly so that it actually um, cuts down on that whiteness of the um, sunscreen filters. But as you can see, it really soaks in easily, nicely. It's really um, liquidy, like I said, and it spreads really nice. Uh, and because this is really not tinted, tinted, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my neck as well. 
in the back of my hands and all that. Um, I like this one because it's definitely uh, very easy to apply and it's not cakey. Do not skip your under eyes, your top of your eyes, and even your eyebrows. I know that um, sometimes it's kind of cumbersome because it does get into your hairs and if you're a man and you have a beard, you know, you should definitely protect that too because um, the sun gets in there too, so. It's no fun to have a burnt eyebrow or beard um, area. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my neck as well. And then I will let it sit for 10 minutes or 15, whatever, and then I'll come back and we'll do the rest. But um, just so that you can see how this does. And that's why I actually like the zipper because then I can get underneath and just kind of get it wherever I need. Now, if you're gonna have your hair up, even if you don't have your hair up, the back of your neck, uh, which I am going to do. Um, because <laughs> We get burnt a lot there. It's mainly because during the day, you know, when you're outside and you're just going to your mailbox or uh, you're just going for something real quick and then you start talking with the neighbor and then you start whatever. It's just you're sitting there and you're getting the sun. So that area is always darker. Have you noticed that? Like on almost everybody, that area is so much darker than, than the front of your neck. It's because of that because you're just on there. It just beats on you, you know. So also do your ears, if they're gonna be exposed. It's no fun to have peely ears. Have you had that? Because I know someone that did. Someone named Keith. <laughs> yep, because he didn't put it on. So anyways, do make sure that you put enough of it. You're supposed to use like um, one teaspoon for your face and neck. Um, I know that I'm not measuring it but also it also depends on your um, face size. Some of us have bigger, some of us have smaller faces, so it's not gonna be applying the same way. If you're bigger, you need more. If you're smaller, then you need less. And so, yeah. Um, this area here, do not forget this area. And if you have a lip um, balm or whatever with sunscreen on, I do strongly suggest you use it. I'll, I'll show you what I actually use. Anyways, so uh, all good. Um, as you can tell, it's really luminous and it's really um, not colored. So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna let it calm down for a bit and then I'll come back in about 10, 15 minutes, maybe more, depends. 20 minutes later and this is what we're looking. This is how we're looking. Um, it's still radiant. It's still, um, it's set a bit. Feels a little sticky and you can hear it. Maybe, maybe you can hear it. Um, but uh, it's definitely not really greasy, but you can feel it. You can, there's a little film. So now the next thing would be, in this, in my opinion, will make a huge difference is to actually apply a powder. Now, if you don't want to apply a powder, then just don't apply it, don't do it. But um, I think a powder actually holds on better or your, um, your sunscreen actually holds on better if you have a powder on top of it. Now, the type of powder you use also matters. I would use a powder that is uh, quite mattifying and quite, um, not to say drying, but definitely something that holds on to oils because that way when you sweat, when you get the water, when you get splashed, when you get all that, um, it will hold on to your um, skin much better and not just, you know, uh, wash off. So usually powders are, um, the, because they're powders and the type that they are, and the ones that are actually uh, waterproof and such, uh, if you put them on top of water, so if you um, a sprinkle on top of water, you'll see that there will be like a film on top of it and they won't sink down. But there's also powders that actually have a lot of like um, emollients in there and a lot of um, hydrating uh, ingredients and they will sink down. Um, that's not to say that those won't do anything, they will still do, but definitely you wanna have something that actually has some properties that will really be um, water repellent or at least. So um, I, throughout the years that I've used, um, there's been a few powders that I've liked, but 
lately, um, and this is kind of like my runner. Um, I've been using this one from Anna Trail. It's called Semi Matte Powder Foundation. It has no SPF in there. Well, it's not uh, advertised as SPF, and I'm not really counting on it as SPF, but I am looking at it because it's quite mattifying and it really adheres to the skin really nice and really good to where it lasts. This powder will last on me the whole day with very minimum oiliness throughout my um, middle, which is where I have my uh, oiliness. So I have a tea, well, oily T-zone, so that's actually where it shows the most. But even then, I blot a bit and then it's good. So um, this is my runner and this is what I'm gonna use today. Um, if you just wanna dust it, you can dust it on, or if you just wanna build coverage, that's fine too. I'm not one to actually dunk my head in the water. I just don't like that. So I usually just um, get splashed if I do, but that's about it. I don't really submerge my face. So I usually start on the middle of my face. You can see how much um, it's already starting to be um, kind of, what do you call, matte. Kind of mattify the, um, the face. Look at this. Right, this is a um, Fitlow Beauty, the is it Kabuki? Is their foundation brush? It's just a tiny, or I mean, short, not tiny, but short, um, thorough tail. <laughs> that so I literally just, um, just kind of press it in, but also swirl. And I do go underneath my eyes with these, these has very good coverage. So, how much you put is up to you. Um, put as much as you're comfortable, but definitely make sure you, um, you make it uh, adhere to your skin by buffing it in or just pressing it in, whatever you're comfortable with. If you have a lot of dry skin, this actually does really good with dry skin. Every time that I, um, have dry skin or flaky skin, not just dry, I meant to say flaky, uh, but dry too. Um, every time that I have flaky skin, this does amazing with it. It kind of like calms down, even though it's a powder, it quite calms down the, the uh, flakiness. With the powder, without the powder. You can see my redness has calmed down on this side. Um, it's not that much shininess. There's still a radiance that's going, uh, going on, but it's definitely not as much as um, it's been. So um, that's what I do. Um, you do what you want, but I do suggest you use a powder. If you just want a setting powder, that's fine too. So if you don't want the coverage, you, you um, don't need the coverage or don't want it, just use a setting powder, you know? That way it will really um, set your sunscreen in place, especially if your sunscreen is a little more emollient or a little more, um, you know, I'm not gonna say greasy because I don't, I don't put greasy on just to begin with because I don't want to have to worry or um, I don't I don't like the hassle of the trying to keep it mad and all that so I don't I won't even put it on. Another thing is make sure you get your um, your temples like go up to the hairline because if you do not um, sun will find it. You don't put it there, it will find it, and uh, you get a burn there, and it's not fun to have burns. See that little spot there? That's a sunspot. And it's been there for quite a while. So just, just be aware. Like I was saying before, man, sun is really not what it used to be. It's so much more strong and so much more potent and it's just burns so fast. Okay, so I think, let me get a mirror here, but I think I'm gonna be good with this. Yep, uh, maybe a little more on the eyes. Here and here. I really like this one for under eyes. It really does not crease like the um, liquid does. And even though it's not a, um, it's not a concealer because it got so, such good coverage, it really does really good for my under eyes. And it's, um, my shade is yellow based, so um, it contracts the uh, the redness or the purpleness in, in my um, in their eyes. So that's actually really nice. So, anyways, this is it for the um, for the base. Now, if you want to glam up, go ahead and glam up. I'm gonna do this actually for you, and it's gonna be um, a uh, 
what do you call them? a um not a challenge but kind of like a, a test for me too to kind of see how it actually holds on so i'm gonna go like all full glam i'm gonna use everything that um i need for just a normal uh, makeup wear but i'm going to the pool so i'm going to use everything that i can that it is waterproof or water resistant and we'll see how it actually does so i'm gonna go in with charlotte tilbury this is not necessarily a waterproof or water resistant but it is a powder so with that being said um powders definitely last better so i'm just gonna go with the um bronzer and just kind of warm up my face starting to get my that was a lot but the good thing about these powders are, is that um, the Charlotte Tilbury, um, this one in particular, um, it's such a beginner's friendly um, powders. They blend off so nice. Now I have a line there, it's my vein, so you'll see there. Um, but yeah, it's just such, they're so blendable and they, they really are beginner's friendly. So if you're a beginner and you don't know what you're doing, this will really be forgiving. You can blend it if you put in too much and it just, um, it looks nice still. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of that contour. This one here, and just go underneath my jawline. Yeah, I know you're not, you don't need to do this um, if you don't want to. And most of the times I don't, but this is a different thing. And if you are in a vacation, in your vacation and you really want to kind of, you know, look put together or they're like young and you don't have kids and you're not all about convenience like i am and you just want to look cute and you know for your mom um you know this is it all right so um that is done i'm gonna go ahead with some blush i'm gonna use these uh found um baked illuminating blush my cap broke i dropped it a couple of times and that's all it took I'm just gonna dip it in and just go up here. And this lasts, really lasts on the skin. Because they're powders, they really um, adhere really well and um, they last. So, there we go. And then, now for the fun parts. Um, this is something that I um, use, I've been using lately, especially if I go to the park with the girls and it's like really humid outside and I know I'm gonna be in the sun uh, and I want it to last. I'll use this stick. Of course, powder uh, lasts as well, but we'll do these because this is actually waterproof. It's advertised to be waterproof. It's Laura Mercier, maybe I should tell you what it is. Laura Mercier um, Strapless Caviar Stick Eye Color Crayon. Um, it doesn't say on it, but I know it is waterproof. Anyways, um, 18 months, which, ooh, that is awesome. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put it on the whole eyelid, on all of my eyelid. And you can use your finger or you can use your uh, brush. I'm just gonna use my finger. Really easy to use, really. Uh, it's got a little sheen to it, but I'm still going to go in my crease here. Just to make it quick and fast and easy. It takes a little bit to dry, but once it's dry, it really is budge proof. I'm going to go underneath my eye um, eye, and my eye line, in the lower, la lower lash line there. And then do the same on the other eye. Like I said, you can use a brush if you'd like, but it's so easy to just use your finger just to blend it. Okay, I think that's good for now for a base. And then I do have a bunch of eyeliners 
So I have a bunch of them from uh, McQueen and they're all gel liners and they're waterproof and they really are waterproof, they really last. Um, a bunch of them have actually glitter, which I'm not really a fan of, so that's why I really don't wear them often, but I'm gonna use some today. Like for example, this one is in um, Cherry Blossom Latte 05. Um, it's kind of like, a, let's see if I can. It's a really fun color, it's really cute. So it's kind of like, um, say kind of goldish, but kind of pinky at the same time, kind of like a rose gold, but not really that dark. So I'm just gonna use this one on the uh, front, like in my inner corner, my tear duct, just for a little fun pop of color, it's a lightness there. Like I said, I don't do this every time I go out to swim, but um, this is the perfect occasion to actually show you how it wears since I'm going to be in the water. Okay, um, let's do it up here too. Underneath, just a line and then there. So it's got a little bit of glitter, you see that? Yeah. All right, I'm going to get... Should we get this one? French latte? No, this is French latte. Nice watch, right? <laughs> um, this is matte. Is it matte? No. It still has glitter in there. But I'm going to use the one that's my favorite. Even though it has glitter, it's the um, 07 Ara Aura Heroin. Heroin, heroin, it's the zero seven. I'm gonna go on uh, the what, um, lash line, just to kind of line with. I'm gonna pull a tiny bit tail out. Now you have some time to play with these, but not too much. I mean, you can um, smudge them and such, which is what I actually like to do. I like to smudge them in. Then I'm gonna go on the lower lash line just at the one quarter and just to kind of intensify that lash line and then smudge, of course. I think they match, right? You can tell the glitter on it. <laughs> I'm gonna be sparkling today. And then I would like to kind of intensify my uh, crease. I'll take a matte one though. I'll do, what is this one? This is called espresso latte. No, it's not black. It's um, it's espresso latte. It's kind of like a dark brown. I'll smudge it for you. So what I'm gonna do with this one, I'm just gonna um, put it on and then quickly, really quickly um, smudge it. So just here. I know it doesn't look pretty now, but just you wait. You can do this with your hand or you can do this with your brush, your finger or your brush, whatever you want. Just like it a little more intensified on there. Let me know how you like it better. See how just high up my crease needs to be actually, but because I have hooded eyes, it really is not. So I have to help it. All right, it's starting to dry out, so no more playing. That's a seven, um, I'll do it right here. Oops. Another thing with these are, they're so soft. Let's see which one's clean. Play them off, there we go. They're so soft that they actually, um, that's her, and it's kind of like a purpley, um, shade. It's really pretty. And even though it has some glitter, it doesn't really look a lot like, like my tip just broke. They're so soft, but they're so beautiful. They really are. 
I'm tempted to get the ones that are actually um, like retractable because when I do um, sh uh, sharpen this ones, a bunch of it comes off with it and sometimes it's just, I have to redo it. So that's one thing to watch out for. And now for the um, lashes, I'm gonna um, test these. Uh, Lash Princess from Essence, it's waterproof. So um, it's my first time using it. Actually, no, um, I used it last year. It wasn't last year, it was about three years ago. My niece actually, Tina, um, got it for me uh, when I went visiting Romania. So she brought it for me. And we'll just put it to the test again. It's been a while, so I can't really remember how good it lasted. And I don't think I went out with it for like pool days and stuff and really tested it. It was just um, regular wear. You know, well, it can be quite heavy suddenly. The brush is interesting, it's like a pine cone. And I take my clean brush and kind of just spread it in. I noticed that with all of these, um like waterproof or tube mascaras, what happens is they don't really flutter much. They are they kind of uh, bunch together. And I really don't like them bunched together. I like them to be quite spread. So um, I'm having more of a hard time mixing, not mixing it, but spreading it, you know, before they dry. And you should definitely do this before they dry. Otherwise it's not gonna be um, easy to do. Okay, much better. This one dries really fast, by the way. All right, let's do the other side. Now let's do eyebrows because I don't know if you know, but if I don't have eyebrows on, I don't feel complete. So, well, the eyebrows are there. <laughs> it's just that I need to um, have them you know, filled up a little bit. And also because I put sunscreen on there, um, I like to clean the hairs, not the skin really, but just the hair. So that the, um, the pencil or whatever I'm using will stay there nicely. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the, um, the Method um, Waterproof Gel uh, Pomade. It's bra pomade, it's called the Five. I'm just gonna use it with their tool. Uh, that's what I came with. Um, I'm just gonna dip it in and then it's literally just fill them in. Um, I don't need a snatched look and I don't need, I don't want it either anyway. So I just wanna kind of fill up what I need and uh, have it last me. I try to start with that one because that one is really the one that needs the most help. And if I go with this one that looks the best, then um, I really need to fill the other one in like big time. But if I start with that one, then I can just lightly go into this one and uh, not feel like it's too done or overdone. And then I just go back and forth with trying to match them. If they want to match that day, it's not always that they wanna listen to what I wanna do. <laughs> sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. But I think today, actually, they look really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with this one, um, it's definitely waterproof. It's definitely holding on quite a bit. Not quite a bit, quite a lot. Um, so um, should be good. We should be good the whole day, the whole time we're in the water. But I'll definitely took some snaps and I'll show you how it actually looks. I feel like I need a little bit more on here. I'm not sure how much I have. There, all right. I think that we're good now. Hmm, any bit more. <laughs> oh gosh, do you, you, are you that way too? I always like, almost always I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna make a, do a little something. Just a little, you know, just a little here, a little there, but then I end up being like, I'm doing so much more than what I 
intended to. No, I feel like this one is thicker. Is it? <laughs> okay, I probably should be stopping because otherwise... Oh gosh. Here we go again. Okay, done. Put it down. Put it down. This is the makeup. I think it looks really nice, actually. Um, it's just, honestly, fast and easy. But don't think that this is an everyday thing. It is not. This is not an everyday uh, go to the beach, go to the pool uh, type of makeup. Um, I don't do this usually, especially since it's in the backyard. Um, I just go like that. But I do want to um, do it for... Oh, yeah. Let me show you this. Those um, swatches that I did for for those um, pencils. Also, let's do these. Um, Laura Mercier. I'll do it right here. Kind of warmer than this one and lighter. And I'll smudge it as well for you just so you see what we end up with. Okay, so yeah, it... it it really all of them look nice. Um, not too much of a fan of the glitter, but even with the glitter, it doesn't look too bad. So um, this is pretty much what the uh, makeup that I came up with that is like waterproof and all that. I will show you throughout the day how it actually looks like after we are in the pool for two to three hours. I'll um, take a little video or something to reapply and I'll show you how it looks. But when I do go in the pool, I most, most of the times than not, I will put a hat on and I'll put my hair up. I do not like my hair to get wet, like in a high up ponytail. Um, do make sure when you do a ponytail high up that you kind of loosen up from the top here because what happens is your, um, your hairline will recede if you pull constantly on it. You'll just be left with like, not much up here, and I already have a big, um, <laughs> big temple, you know, I don't need more, but anyways, um, just a little, just a little caution there, so I will do this, my friend got this for me, Tara, thank you Tara, um, because it's got the ponytail up, and you just can just put it all the way up high, and I actually go ahead and I do a bun, I do a nice bun right up top there. I don't care that it doesn't look cute or whatever. I don't care because I know that I'm protected. So um, I'll just clip it there with the claw. And then, don't forget this. I always have sunglasses on. There we go. I know, a little bit of a frog, but you know what? This is awesome because it really protects my um, my forehead and whatever from the eyes and the sunglasses actually protect as well. So with the reflection coming from the water up, it really is important that you protect yourself and that you uh, keep in mind that sun gets from every little angle and it's not just from the top down or from the down up with the reflection of the um, of the water. As far as lips go, I have a few here that I'm gonna show you. Uh, these three are Korean. They're from um, Rothal Mentalathum. I always thought that it was Hadalabo, but obviously not. Um, these two are, this is um, just clear. It's Melty Cream, SPF 25. Um, really affordable, actually, just clear. And then, um, not really anything to say about. Um, this one is just a pink cream, I think it's called, but it really doesn't leave much, um, let's do it here, much color on your skin. Very faint, not really nothing. Um, not much really. That's probably just more for me uh, rubbing. Um, these are very slippery. So, they don't really last long on your lips, uh, so you'd have to reapply. They go up really, really quickly. And then I have this one, which is more of a red. I think it's pressed thread, yeah. Um, it's really red. And this one does live. Now, it looks a little brighter on the phone camera than it is on um, with me, so I'll show you how it actually looks. This one does have a, a color, and it lasts longer. It's a little bit... Um, 
thicker and not as slippery as the other two are. But because it's got the big color, I mean like a poncho color, um, I don't really wear it on its own. Um, I mostly wear it, so I put one of these on and then I'll put this one just for a tad of color, unless I want a big poncho color. So this is uh, SPF 26 and these two are SPF 25. Um, I think they're actually about to expire because I bought them last year and this is, um, I think it's 12 month, I believe. And then I have these two ones from Santegrity. Well, these are actually my daughters. <laughs> I bought it for them because, um, I wanted them to be able to put something cute on and still like, um, because it's got the SPF 20 or 25, is it? 25. This is in Skinny Dip. It's actually my favorite color. And then there's a darker one that I actually like too, but this is like really nice. I should have left this one for last. It's kind of like a Your Lips Put Better, but it's also very thin. Um, not as thin as this one. Kind of like the red, uh, but they also go quickly. Um, it's really not uh, doesn't really last a lot so this is how this one looks like and then this one is in creamsicle and this is my younger one that she really likes this one it's creamsicle it's cute it's kind of like a, a cream pink peach I'll go down a bit Sorry, I don't really have much room <laughs> to swatch it. And I'll put the other one right next to it, just so you can see the difference. So yeah, they don't dry out, and none of them uh, dry really out, so um, they they don't last long. But I do, do also notice with these Santegrity ones that they, um, <coughs> excuse me, they are not moisturizing at all and my lips are really dry um summer winter that's my winter even worse but summertime too and because these ones are not moisturizing it really doesn't offer anything and so after i wear it for a little bit when it's time to reapply i notice that my lips are really dry and i can't reapply this again without discomfort so if i only have this one with me um, I just don't, I don't like it. I don't, um, I don't want to put it on because it hurts my lips. So I usually just use one of the other ones and I do like the red one. Now, this one's coming out like a red raspberry, which was, uh, was something that I was going to get. And then, um, they didn't have it in stock. So I ordered without, but I've been like keeping my eye on just so that when they do come back in stock and which they are right now but um of course i can't just order one item <laughs> i have to have more which does not the problem because i can order a lot more but like do i really want it now do i really need it that wanted i do do i need it no so uh we'll see but yeah um this is kind of like the combination that i like to do just a little bit of color and um just enough uh, protection there yeah i would love it if it was 50 but you know what i'll take 25 i'll take um 30 i'll take whatever just enough because your lips actually get burnt too and it's not fun to have burnt lips so this is my um uh, pool day um hat on mexican girl and glasses and um uh, yeah this is how i roll and then of course i do that because <laughs> It's just more protection. So anyways, guys, this is it for now. I will catch on with you later uh, for the reapplying and all that. But all I can tell you is be aware of the sun. Um, don't just stay in the sun without protection. If you don't have protection, put a, a big white brim um, hat on. Uh, if you have to go somewhere and you don't have anything on. Because uh, that's going to do a lot. So... Uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, um, just coming in from outside. Um, I uh, been there for like just a little two over two hours, and um, the kids are inside, so yeah, it's gonna be a little noisy. But um, this is what we're looking at um, as far as the uh, 
sunscreen goes and the makeup with it. So let's see, I'm gonna take a little mirror here. Okay. Uh, can you use a bathroom, please? So let's see how it actually looks. Uh, I have me a little mirror here that I'm looking into. Okay. Um, my mascara kind of, should I take my hat off? I'll take my hat off so that we can actually see properly. Yeah, the lines. All right, well, disregard the hair. It's been in a hat, with a hat, bundled up. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, forget about the hair. Don't look at the hair. All right, um, now, let's see. Uh, now that we don't have the shadow, the shade of the hat, you can see that the, um, the mascara didn't run, but it's, I think it's the um, actual um, eyeshadow stick. Even though it was waterproof, it definitely ran. So you can see it over here, the shadow, and the glitter came down too, came off. Of course, um, sunglasses. And then there's not much um, shininess, mostly on my, um, the forehead here a little bit on the things now i had water running of course being in the water i kind of had my um lower part of my chin kind of dunking a little bit bobbing in there um but other than that really the rest just got splashed so i got splashed a lot kids so <laughs> jumping in jumping out and all that so um yeah but other than that other than the um smudging over here which i'm seeing a little more like right up here the um little chunk there that is mascara that's mascara but um let's do this my hands are all nice and wrinkly as you should have when you come back from from the pool um but um, I think it looks great, you guys. I mean, look at that. Two hours in direct sun, um, being in the pool. Yes, I don't dunk my head because I just don't like it, but I definitely got a plenty of splashes. Um, thank goodness for my glasses, they cut a bunch of the um, splashes and my hat, of course, but um, definitely from like here down, I got a bunch of splashes. Um, I think it looks really good. Um, I don't really see much broken down other than like here on my nose. Um, there's some broken down um, foundation in here as well, just the nose part. But this is my uh, T-zone that's the um, oiliest, so I kind of expect that. Now I'm gonna take a little blotting paper just to kind of blot before applying because I don't like to apply anything right on top, just like that. Quite oily um, up here, not so much up here. There is some, but not as much as um, actually I was expected to have. Definitely not as much. And then the the parts of my the sides of my face really don't act very um, very oily at all. They don't look oily, and they do not um, feel oily either. So at this point, um, you have like two, three, three options, I guess. Uh, one would be you reapply what you put on underneath, you know, like your liquid. Uh, two would be um, a powder, whatever powder SPF that you may want. Um, and the third would be a um, sun stick, which I've been actually really liking these. Um, this one is from Abib. It's a quick sun stick protection bar. It's SPF 50, PA++++, so for pluses. And it comes like this. Um, so you just roll it up. This one is clear. There's all kinds of other ones out there. Um, I got this one because it was really raved. So I got this one to try. And I am, I've been wearing it um, here and there. I've had it at least for two weeks and I've been playing it, playing with it like up and down, but um, I actually like it a lot. So I'm gonna do it on this side first so that you can see the difference. So I'm gonna start on the nose here and I'll just go up like this. What I like about this is that it feels so soft on the skin, but it does not feel greasy 
um, and it does not leave any residue. I got a tickle up here. Let's do that. Okay. So I'm gonna go underneath my eye. It's very soft, so it glides really nicely. I'm gonna go on top too as well. And then of course on my forehead. And then it's okay to double. It's not it's definitely not bad to <laughs> to double apply or to apply more. So this is what it looks with and this is what it looks without after blotting. I honestly do not see a difference. Let me know if you see a difference. I do not see a difference. I'm looking right here in the mirror and I'm not seeing really a difference. And I've done that maybe a tiny bit. But no, it's just it's so faint. I see a little sparkle there. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side too. Um, it's just, guys, it just, it's really nice. And I have not had a burn. I have not had a burn and I've been in direct sunlight. I'm not talking about today. Uh, I'm talking about the whole time, you know, uh, that I've done these with the powder. And um, even if I don't put on a full face of sunscreen, I'm sorry, <laughs> full face of, of uh, makeup, like when I go out, in uh, in the garden to either weed the weed the the garden or um, like take care of the plants and such. I'm done with this. Um, I have not burnt, but I do put my sunscreen on. Then I do put a powder on, whether it is a powder SPF or a powder a powder or just setting powder, just to set and lock that sunscreen in. I'm telling you guys, this makes a huge difference. So. Um, this is what it looks with it reapplied. It feels really comfortable. It does not get dried on the um, throughout the day and it does not really get oily either. Um, maybe I'll come back in maybe two to three hours to show you how it looks. Uh, we're getting ready to barbecue. So um, I'm still kind of wet. I have my towel around to kind of keep me warm because in the house it's definitely cooler. Now I'm gonna just maybe do this so you can see if it's like sticky or not. It's not, it's not sticky you guys. It sounds, of course, not really, there's no really residue when I, um, there's a little bit of a shine. I don't know if you can tell that or not. My, um, my fingers are peeling as per usual. Nothing new there. But anyways, um, yeah, you guys, um, this is the, um, I got something there. Oh, I know what that is. That is a, an eyebrow that I have not plucked. Yep, that's what it is, I think. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> okay, so anyways, let's recap. Um, the eyes looked still good. Uh, maybe not as intense as it was when I put them on first, maybe. But it definitely still have, I still have the um, eyeshadow there. Um, definitely more diminished now, especially because I put the thing on top and kind of blotted um, the, the thing, the um, paper. Um, my lips. Uh, so my lips feel... Quite dry there's nothing in there no residue of any sort um at about an hour after i put it on it was already gone um that does not last so right now because i'm not gonna be into exanat or even if i am i'm not gonna really worry about you know too much stuff i'm just gonna put mm, this beach glow from Ficlo just to moisturize them and keep them nice because they're really dry they feel dry and i'm just feeling very uncomfortable in there so yeah, the eyebrows, let's look at the eyebrows. Eyebrows held out really nice. Uh, they still look just just about the same, if not the same uh, from when I put them. Yeah, the hairs kind of went down um, because I did not set them. I forgot to set them, you know? <laughs> so um, yeah, they could be a little perkier, but they're, they're still looking nice. They still have the, um, uh, the shape that I gave them. Um, they still are, they're still there. So that's pretty much what I was interested in. And on my neck, there's really nothing. Um, I haven't applied anything right now. I could put the sun stick. Let's put the sun stick on. And uh, it's, it's really nice because it's so soft and it's so easy to apply. And um, if you do find a stick that you actually like, um, you just take it with you, it's mess free and it's really not, um, it's really not 
um, anything that you need to do. So you don't need a powder, you don't need a, a powder brush, you don't need uh, anything. It's mess free, it, it hands wise and uh, application. So yeah, I'm really, really happy about this. This is just a, um, it's a chemical sunscreen. It's not a physical. I do, I do know that there's uh, mineral sunscreens out there in stick form and I was actually interested in, but I had already bought this one. So I'm not gonna buy another one unless um, this one doesn't work for me. So I have had no um, irritation or anything from this sun stick, um, but I'll keep you posted more if anything changes. So I'll give you another look with the um, sun stick on top of everything. And then, um, and then I'm gonna be done. This is my ring from my um, from the hat that I was using. Lovely hat. But other than that, guys, it really wore really nice. And uh, I've got no redness. I've got no no nothing everywhere anywhere. And like I said, it was really sunny outside. Um, yeah. So, anyways, uh, I'll see you in about two to three hours, and then uh, we'll see how this sunstick actually wore. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Hey guys, it's been almost three hours since I put the um, sunscreen uh, stick on. So let's see how it actually looks. Um, we had some barbecue, we ate, we had some wine, and uh, we're still gonna have some more. So I'm doing this checkup in now because uh, we're gonna start playing some games and um, I just, uh, I know we're not gonna have the light. I'm not gonna have the light to actually do the check-in. Uh, and I'm not really gonna do anything else after that. We're just gonna chill and all that. So it really doesn't matter from now on. So let's see how it actually looks. It's been on my face for seven hours and a half, a little more, seven hours and a half plus. So um, let's take a little look. This eyebrow looks so much nicer than the other one. That's <laughs> all I can see right now. But um, I still have makeup on. Um, I don't have much um, on my cheeks going on. I did reapply on top too, so that could also be that. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of wear and I'm not seeing a lot of twi uh, tear. Um, there's definitely like redness poking through. Um, but my eyes, my eyes are still there. So even though I got, um, you can tell, like a little creasing over there um, and some smudging on my uh, lower lash line, not a lot, but enough to where you, I can tell that it's there. I can tell it's there, um, but it, it still looks nice. I mean, the eyelashes are just, have not budged. Um, it's waterproof, so yeah. I will definitely stay how I put them first. Um, I still have the stick and then the, everything. Everything is still there. It is diminished. Uh, it's not as intense as it was, but it definitely looks nice. It's still um, on my eyes. So um, I think that's great since, you know, a lot of the time that I spent was in the um, sun and in the water. So... Yeah, um, I am actually really happy with how it wore. Of course, my lips, there's nothing on my lips. As a matter of fact, um, I need to put something on because it's quite dry there. But I think uh, it really wore really nice. Uh, the stick did really uh, go in nice and smooth and it really hasn't emphasized anything. It's not greasy, it's not oily. Um, I know that it's been just, you know, under three hours, but still it would definitely would have shown a lot of greasiness if um or oiliness if it was to do that so yeah you guys um i mean if you don't have anything for the uh summer um weather for the pool for the beach um these are some options you can consider uh it's definitely really nice to have something that you can count on when you're um, doing that type of activity because you know that if you don't wear stuff like this it's just going to go away it's going to wash off and might as well not even put it on so uh, this concludes my review here um give another look here quick but yeah it's uh it's definitely nice i really like it and there's no settling on my um neck wrinkles because um i'm always uh, not always but the things that are gonna settle, they will settle in my lines here. 
I have quite permanent lines there. Those are just my um, my lines I was born with. So um, it always settles in there if uh, if that's the case. But um, nothing has settled. No, the sunscreen hasn't settled. The um, um, a stick hasn't settled there. It's really, really nice. So uh, let me know down below if you actually have these, if you are um, if you have anything that you're using and you really can count on for days like these. I'm curious to know, and I'm also always looking for new products to try on. So um, up until I see you guys next time, um, I hope this actually helped you in some way. And you saw, if you were interested in any type of product like this, um, you saw how it actually wore and, um, uh, now you know what to expect if you're about to buy one. So uh, up until I see you guys next time, you take care. Bye. Now I'm going to go get back into the wine and some cards. So I'll see you. Bye.